She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Speak God first and all these things will be to you. So what are these things? These things are, you know, when you come to God and you're you're a bit of a mess, you've got your hopes, you've got your dreams, you've got your financial needs, you're longing for a husband, you're longing for a wife. You know when your heart's just so heavy with the with all of these things. I mean, even the pandemic, God has given me a really easy analogy to help you with that. So I really started thinking about where is it? Where's the example that we see added to? Where where do we see examples where we can add things to, to something? And I start thinking of it as like a shopping analogy where we see our basket, we can add things to a basket, right? And if you're like me, who really enjoys the experience of looking at what's new and pretty little thing or what's new in Amazon or looking at the things which are best for me. Sometimes they'll be just like best sellers or what's new in and we like to refresh this. We like to seek it out and this is where it starts for me is that when you go online and you're seeking out a product, let's say it's a product, you have to have the experience of being able to see it first right it's because you need to know if you like it you have to know if it's right for you and that's part of the joy isn't it of doing an online shop is finding something i mean you could be there with your coffee and you've got your laptop up and you're just having a look i thought about it and i was like that is the reward that you get you think i'm going to treat myself that's what we say don't we? we say i'm going to treat myself and that is the reward you've found you know the most amazing outfit and you've popped it and it's gone add it to the basket that's where we can draw the parallels you have to see god first But hold on, it gets even better because our parallel is what's going to give you life and not just a new outfit. Guess what? When God adds things to your basket, the total figure at the end is free. Because of God's grace and mercy and love for you, that time you spend with God is a reward without having to charge you. The difference with this experience is that when you're experiencing time with God, you are going to get intimacy. You are going to get peace. And let me tell you, peace is not just like a fuzzy feeling. Peace can transcend all understanding and it can happen like that. And that is the difference between spending time with God and being rewarded in that sense and shopping online. Because shopping online, you usually have to wait three to five working days before you can even get your purchase. But let me tell you, spending time with God is instant. You can get a new perspective on something. You can get your worries taken off your chest. I truly feel like in my heart that you spending time with God, you're gonna have, feel so much more renewed. Trust me, you will feel renewed. What another thing that you're gonna get from spending time with God is a relationship. And you hear these people say like, I've got such a good relationship with God or, you know, we're so close. And I bet some people are like, what, like how? And that's it. Spending time with God. Remember, you're visualizing a space where you go to and you're chatting things through with him. And that's a good place to grow in. I think there are a lot of things that happen instantly with God. But maybe those things which he has promised he's going to add to you, they may take a little bit longer. But that's okay. You've established, you've actually done something which is incredible for your life. And that's you've started to establish seeking his face and building a relationship. Just maybe you can go away today and just start building a place in your mind if you've never done it before. And I just, yeah, I hope that really helped you. It's certainly helped me. Um, this shopping analogy, I cannot take credit for. That was all God. Maybe because he knows your girl loves to shop. <laughs> I do love a little shop. And who doesn't? You know, it's okay to treat yourself. All good things start from this place. And I just can't wait to hear what you guys think about that. And if you have an amazing place, let me know your places because I just think it's such a beautiful thing. And I don't feel like I hear it a lot. And I know some people are quite private with it, but 
you're here, you're on the Jesus mirror, let me know, let your girl know. Um, love you guys and I just hope that this helped you today. Bye guys. Oh, no.